everybody. <laughs> Ever heard of the button? I sure have. Not like that. Stop it. I can't, I can't not say it. I cannot say it. The Button is a cut reality style series where folks essentially, as far as I understand it, are speed dating, but all they have to do to end the date is hit a button and the date like ends immediately. So it's speed dating taken to the next level. And I think I found a gay one. I mean, obviously. So we're gonna watch that together. For any of you who don't know me, hi, my name's Elena Joy. I make videos on this channel mostly about the queer community, sex, dating, relationships, but sometimes I react to Cut, the YouTube channel Cut. This is a Cut by Bachelorette hot lesbian TikToker fan account essentially, is what this YouTube channel is here. And if that sounds like the content for you, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Stick around. All right, follow me on Instagram if you don't already because that's where the magic happens. And without further ado, let's get into the video. The button, but make it gay. Rosie is terrified of birds. So like, here's the thing with birds. They are dinosaurs. So are you scared of dinosaurs? Factual, are you not? I don't <gasps> Welcome to The Button, a speed dating show. When the That was so quick. People reject each other that easily. <laughs> they, they didn't even get a chance. They were like, you're not scared of dinosaurs? Red flag. <laughs> and I'm like, talking about dinosaurs on a first date? Red flag. <laughs> Welcome to The Button. Okay, speed we're getting the rules show. now. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. Yeah, oh, and then they get a new if person. two people can last on a date for 10 minutes, they win an all expenses paid second date. This is the button. Hi. Hi. Okay, so if they last for 10 minutes, they're rewarded with a second date. But if they hit the button, they're rewarded with a new date. So the stakes are high. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, my name is Shay. Yeah. I'm Marielle. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What are your red flags? Okay, the, the button oh, just talks. <laughs> just, come on, just tell me what to do. One red flag for Marielle is if someone has a dog. You don't like dogs? I like dogs. Wait. I like dogs. I just don't want to have a dog. I have a dog. Oh. He's six. He's like the best dog in life. Jesus Christ. Oh no. Just immediately. First question. This is funny to me because this was me. If I had buttoned somebody over having a dog, I would have lost out on my current relationship and I would have lost out on the dog that I now have. But before we continue with the video, I wanna take a second to thank the sponsor of this week's content, Adam and Eve. If you've been watching me for any amount of time, you have seen me work with adamandeve.com. When it comes to adult toys, they don't joke around. And when it comes to giving you guys discount codes, they don't joke around. You can use my code FENDER for 50% off 5-0% off a single item, as well as free shipping within Canada and the USA. They send a box, a giant box. Who doesn't love a giant box, am I right? <laughs> Full of surprises, and we open it together. First we have the Cal Exotics Love More Foreplay. There's an image on the back of how you're supposed to hold it. <gasps> it's beautiful. It fits really nicely in between your fingers. Which fingers? Up to you, dealer's choice. We also have the dual end twirling wand. This is classic Adam and Eve. They have everything, everything on their site. If you've ever been curious, wanted to try something, this is the place to go. Because not only do they have a huge variety of stuff on their site, but you can use my code Fender and get 50% off. Five zero. Oh my. The Monarch? I'm not entirely sure what's happening here, but it is removable, apparently. This one I need a tutorial for. Wow. <laughs> it's bigger than I was expecting. <laughs> you can use it on its own. This would be internal, external, or you can screw this on the top here, and this is like inside one partner, and this is inside the other partner, and this is outside both of you. 
If this is piquing your interest in the way it's piquing mine, you can get it for 50% off. That's a steal. Adam and Eve is for trying new things. And then what is this? Oh, it's a glow in the dark bondage kit called, ouch, <laughs> glow in the dark. I mean, I'll say it again. Ever been curious? 50% off, use code Fender. <laughs> now back to the lesbians. I'm Sequoia. Hi, I'm Marielle. Nice to meet you. Sequoia, I really love shirt. your shirt, those colors. Thank you. They really pop. <laughs> Correct, Marielle. Marielle loves dogs. <laughs> Do you? I am okay about dogs. The button is just, just threw Marielle under the bus. <laughs> She was literally like, it's a red flag for me. It is a boundary for me if people have dogs. And the button's like, Marielle's a dog person. What do you need to know about Marielle? Dog crazy. They are not setting them up for success here. Okay, well, I have a dog. Oh, okay. Oh, no. It seems like everyone in. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. The other one buttoned. Marielle. So is Marielle now out? Oh, poor Marielle. She just doesn't want a dog. Let me give you a piece of advice, Marielle. Me to you. If you want to date queer women, like most of them have dogs. <laughs> like a lot of them have dogs. It's kind of funny because you hear more about the stereotype of like the lesbians who stay home all, all the time with their cats. But a lot of lesbians have dogs. And a lot of lesbians have cats. Maybe the stereotype just needs to be that queer women love animals. The same if you didn't like my cat. Yes. <laughs> I'm glad you get it. <laughs> I do, thanks. Mariel has a cat. Yeah, do we split lesbians between cat lovers and dog lovers? Is that a, a separation that we define within the community? I'm having an identity crisis. <laughs> I'm so nervous, can you tell? When I get nervous, oh. I get a little tooty. <laughs> I'm hoping that doesn't happen to me. That would be very embarrassing. Wait, so the button flirts with them too? So whoever hits the button is the one that gets the next date. So you're not only trying to decide if you wanna hit the button because you don't like the person, but you need to hit the button before they do or you're out. The stakes are even higher than I initially thought. No, I'm Sequoia. I'm Rosie. Nice okay, to meet Sequoia you. Sequoia and Rosie, Rosie is terrified of birds. Oh, like all birds? Here we go. Dang, just put my business I know, out there the dinosaur right now. But I'm very game. good at that. Yeah, so like no outside eating. Like, you can't do like a picnic? A, I love no, a picnic. No, what if a seagull swoops down? What are we has it do? happened to you? It has. Okay. Oh, it's to the point that Rosie can't eat outside. This isn't just like Rosie doesn't like birds. She's going to have a dog and a cat, but not a bird. This is like Rosie can't go on a picnic. Picnics are queer culture, Rosie. I might have to button her for that too. They are dinosaurs. So are you scared of dinosaurs? Factual, are you not? Oh, 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 oh. oh it was a race. It was a race, it was a race for the button. And Rosie's like, oh no, I felt the vibe. I felt the vibe that you wanted to eat outside and I will not be doing that. <laughs> like they're speaking to each other for two seconds. What if this was the love of your life and she just like wanted to eat outside a little bit, like just a little bit. What if you brought like a gazebo? The gazebo will protect you from the seagulls. This is not enough depth for any lesbian date. Hello. Hi. Hi, I'm Coco. I'm Rosie. It's nice to meet you. Right off the bat, I love your outfit. Oh, thank you so much. I love yours too. Do you like birds? Birds? Yeah, I'm into birds. I really like pigeons. Is that Ooh, like a girl, weird stop it. Like? <laughs> Is that, I think that they're cute. <laughs> Rosie, you can't. <laughs> you can't open with that. Do you like birds? If I sat down on a first date and someone was like, are you into birds? I'd be like, this is, okay, this is my people pleasing brain. Maybe not the healthiest thought pattern that I'm about to go into, but I would be sitting there thinking, oh, this person really likes birds. So I need to say, yes, I like birds for them to like me. <laughs> Even if I didn't like birds, that's not healthy or good advice. I, I'm gonna call my therapist <laughs> after this. And then Coco said pigeon. And pigeon is arguably one of the most dinosaur-like birds. Coco didn't stand a chance. She didn't stand a chance. Rosie does not like birds. Oh, okay. That's fair. You said pigeons, like. <laughs> hey, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? 
good. What's your name? Mayana. Don't ask Mayana is a professional dancer. Oh my god, Mayana is cute. Okay, what type of dance? She is a professional dancer. Look how cute she is. Don't ask her if she likes birds. <laughs> okay, Rosie, come on. Let's give Mariana a chance. I mean, I am feeling the vibes, but I don't know. <laughs> Mayana, are you feeling Mayana. a connection? Um, I definitely feel it's giving more like friendship or something. So, okay, like that. so it's more friendship vibes. More than so, like... yeah. Okay. Yeah, so... Well then. Right. Oh! What? Ugh. Why does Rosie get to hit the button? The dancer was the one that did the rejecting. Why didn't you hit the button? Rosie's like, well, if you're just feeling friendship vibes and you're clearly not hitting the button, guess I'll go on another date. <laughs> didn't even get to ask if she liked birds. What's your name? I'm Teresa. What's your Teresa. name? Rosie. Teresa, when's the last time you saw someone naked? I think it was, it was two days ago. All right. Who was it? A friend. Ooh, saucy. We were, we went to the sauna together, so. Good clarification, because for all we know, Rosie's like, I don't want to be on a date with someone who was banging two days ago. Where were you banging and were there birds? Really, did you sleep with them? No, not in the, no, we didn't. Have you slept with them? Possibly, oh. yes. Okay, that's where I'd hit the button. Not because they're sleeping with a friend, but because they answered the question in a weird voice. I don't want you talking to me in a weird voice on our first date at all. That gives me the ick. Honey voices? Might be top of my list. I can't do funny voices. You gotta give me a year minimum before we can do funny voices. <laughs> Sorry, Teresa, you would have gotten the button. Okay. Like you can still be platonic, but you can still do a lot of things with each other. Mm -hmm. I don't know, that's what I'm coming up on, being 23 years old in this world. Oh, 23? Yeah, I'll oh, do you if I may ask. 23, she's a baby. I'm 34, is that a, is that a problem? No, if you're trying to be my sugar mama. <laughs> baby. <laughs> Button. <laughs> button. I I would have buttoned too. Sorry, Teresa, you're adorable. I'm with Rosie. I'm with Rosie on this one. I'm Rosie. Nice to meet you, Rosie. Nice to meet you. You have nice, calm, cool hands. My hands? Oh, yeah, they're thank like you. cool. Like I'm I'm nervous as hell, so me too. thank you. Does Rosie make you nervous? I mean this whole situation. You got a beautiful woman, like this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. I mean, I think you are like Hot. The eye contact here is telling me something. Not sure quite what yet, but it's telling me something. I'm bisexual, mm -hmm. so how do you feel about that? Would you oh, prefer I'm oh, yeah, Rosie. Love. Okay. Yeah. Oh! Right. I'm sorry. What was the. Wait, what? She sits down. She's like, I have a beautiful woman in front of me. This is great. We're vibing. Rosie goes, I'm bi. She goes, I'm into that. But mixed. Signals. Is she just gonna say friendship vibes or is she gonna say, I hate men? <laughs> She's gonna say, I just get bird hating vibes <laughs> and my parents at home could never. What was the reason? Uh, no, <laughs> I think physically, okay. uh, I'm just looking for something different. Cool. But you're a beautiful woman. Because I like who likes me, so I get yeah, it. I appreciate it. All right, that. well, you have a good day. It was day. nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Physically, I'm looking for something different. Oof. So how old are you? Oh, I missed both I'm the 23. names again. 23. Mm -hmm. I knew it was going to happen. How old are you? Can you guess? You're 26. <gasps> Sorry, you're a little bit too young for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, nice no problem. It was nice meeting you. He is ruthless. I'm Tunisia. I like your outfit. I mean, very pretty. Fun fact about Tunisia, she still has a baby tooth. <laughs> <laughs> what? You still yeah. have a baby tooth? Yeah, I do. Wait, how? Basically, the adult tooth, like, didn't grow into it, and so it's just there permanently. But so how old is Tunisia? Because Plaid over here just buttoned somebody so quick because of their age. How old is Tunisia? This is important information. Do you find each other attractive? Yeah, she's very beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I find you very attractive. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I guess my, my only question is, uh, oh. how old are you? Yeah. 25. 25. 25? Okay. 25? Okay. a little bit younger than I'm, 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 I date. I 
love older women. <laughs> can, you, can you guess how, how old I am? How 32, old is she? 36. 36? Yeah. Oh, Platt is 36. So 36 to 25, that's, that's a gap. It's a gap. Oh, but I want it. I want it for both of them. They're vibing. It seems like they have something in common with the trauma. But like, I guess a lot of people would have that in common. Is she gonna button her? Moment of truth. Is that too old for you? That's not too old for okay. me at all. I love your age. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I mean, 25, we can work with it. Everything else is lining up. So I'm gonna light red right now. And if you don't press, then you win. What if she just hit it? <laughs> Congratulations, you have awesome. won the button. <laughs> they won! Thank you. Do we get to see their date? I want more. I want to see them go on their date. Yeah. Oh, they're all just hanging out backstage. Are you going somewhere right now? Oh, I don't know about right now. I got, I got to go to a friend's birthday party and then the fair. And invite your date to the okay. fair. I mean, you can throw with me if you want. <laughs> Yeah, no, no pressure. No yeah, pressure. no pressure. Hi. Um, interesting. The producers are like, so are you gonna go on your date now? And Baby Tooth was kind of like, ah? Uh? And Plaid was like, ah, uh, I got stuff to do. I got stuff to do, babe. I had plans, babe, which is valid, but somehow didn't bode well. So looking at the comments, it sounds like this episode was way sweeter, kinder, gentler, better than other episodes because it was women dating women. Sounds like the other episodes are a bit more ruthless. Okay, we have to do another of these videos reacting to one of the regular episodes because it looks like they have a couple of new ones. So subscribe if you aren't already. Do you have notifications on? Are you following me on Instagram? What are you doing with your time? It's the new year and your new year's resolution needs to be to watch more of my videos. <laughs> Let's spend more time together. I miss you. <laughs> I feel like our relationship just isn't what it used to be. You've changed. <laughs> And one more huge thank you to the sponsor of this week's content, adamandeve.com. Remember, you can use code FENDER and get 50% off a single item, as well as free shipping to Canada and the USA. A perfect opportunity to try something new. Let me know if you liked this video and if you would want me to react to more of the button. As always, an extra huge thank you to my VIP patrons, my vitally important producers. You all make my world go round. And that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you in the next one. I swapped around a couple of my qualifying words there and almost messed myself up on my own outro. See you guys in the next one. Bye. I have wanted to watch this series, the button series, ever since I first saw people reacting to it, but I have withheld. I have controlled myself because I knew I wanted to watch it together with all of you. And now I found a gay one. So this is karma. <laughs> I used my self-control like a big girl and was rewarded with lesbians. <laughs>